Is this like a harder time for kids that, that struggle with things like anxiety and depression? It is, it, it really can be a harder time and I'm noticing that um, as I'm working with, with my patients. Sarah Jerstead is a child psychologist at Children's Minnesota and still meeting with patients virtually. For those who've struggled with anxiety in the past, COVID-19 is adding an extra layer. Kids with social anxiety, at the, at the beginning, I think it felt like a little relief from pressure. But what I'm seeing is those kids aren't as skilled at reaching out and connecting to people virtually. And so they're getting more isolated. And just because you have social anxiety doesn't mean you don't want social connection. And for kids who've been on a journey with depression, that isolation can make navigating day-to-day -day life more challenging. You know, one of the things that we talk with kids and families about is if you have depression, it's so important to seek social support, engage in, you know, daily activities and, to, and get out there. And it's hard to do during COVID-19. Sarah says kids are having to get creative with their coping strategies. And parents, she says it's okay to talk to your kids about how they're feeling and let them see how you're being impacted by all of this too. It's just a matter of being yourself. Um, don't try to be too tough or too strong for these kids or pretend that this is not a big deal. It is and they'll recognize that you're feeling that too. And if you're honest about it and if you can kind of model that for kids, um, it's actually really helpful. Brian Pyatt, CARE 11 News. Yeah, Chris, I think that piece of advice is so important for parents just to be vulnerable and just to say sometimes, hey, today sucks. It sucks and it's OK if it's not OK for you, too. Yeah, be honest with your children. You, we don't always have to gloss over everything for them. Just give them the facts sometimes. Thanks a lot for that, Gia.